uh, <coughs> this is the third of my living with the Renault uh, Zoe uh, videos, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. I have, um, well, as you can see, uh, the battery is pretty low. Um, five miles of range left. The orange warning light is is on. Looks like there's maybe about ten percent of the battery charge remaining maybe a little less we'll find out in just a moment and um i've arrived at the rapid charging station i don't know if you can see that on the side there it says electric vehicle rapid charger uh, in gallagate in aberdeen and i'm having a few issues with these and I, and there's a few of us have been trying to work out what is going on here because these chargers uh, do not seem to be charging at the rate that they should be. And the guy that's um, in charge of them here um, is fully expecting them to be working at 43 kilowatts. And uh, well, I know I'm not getting that. So I'm gonna try a little, uh, you know, try charging the battery uh, here and kind of take a, a measurement over time of um, the percentage gain on the state of charge of the battery and get an idea of what's going on uh, when it's charging see if it's fast at some point and then slows down uh, or whether it's fairly consistent and it's only right at the end of the charge that it slows down uh, the reason for this uh, for wanting to do this is because um there are a lot of these chargers rapid chargers around and they are not working as quickly as you can so if you've got a long journey where you're relying on a quick rapid charge um because these chargers aren't working as fast as they should be, as fast as the, the kind of specs say they should be, um, the journey time is about twice uh, what, it, um, what, it, what it might be because you're having to wait that much longer uh, for the charge, which is frustrating when you um, have a car that could do it a lot faster. So, um, while I've been chatting, the uh, range has gone down to four miles um, because I've got the heating on. Nice and toasty. I'm just making sure the battery was uh, fairly low as I came over uh, to this charger. I also have my mats working again. Uh, that has been a bit of a saga, getting the mats working after I tried to uh, update the mats to the latest version and somehow the SD card got gubbed. So I have a new SD card and it's all working again. Fabulous. So I'm gonna plug in and then see how we go. on the battery and I'm going to take a, a, a just a tally there we are saying an hour and 45 minutes uh, to charge this rapid charger um, I would expect that to be about an hour uh, or so if it was really working properly so we'll see um, I'm going to keep a wee tally of what's going on more later <laughs> So um, it's just tipped over half an hour and you can see we're at 48%. Uh, it says now an hour and five minutes uh, remaining. Uh, so I've been keeping a kind of tally on uh, what's been going on, state of charge and how many kilowatts have been used. So I'm I'm going to chart this up after I'm uh, done with it. But um, yeah, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out this is not this is not charging at 43 kilowatts per hour. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to chart this up and then, set, uh, you know, with a bit of data, send this on and ask them what's going on. I'd, um, I had, uh, the car was checked out because I've, I called Charger Car, who kind of run this network, and they, their initial thing, surprise, surprise, was, oh, it's the car's fault. 
anyway the car's been checked and there's nothing wrong with the charging circuits and indeed if i charge at one of the other um this is an apt charger if i charge at one of the ecotricity chargers it is far faster um almost two uh, i think we can get this right almost three times uh faster at charging so in my mind that means there's something a bit odd going on uh, with these chargers and they are deliberately restricting them for whatever reason and but i can't get a clear answer on why that is uh, and i wish they wouldn't because it would be much better obviously if it was actually charging at a rapid charger rate i've used a charger that is kind of rated at half uh, at 22 kilowatts and it was quicker so there's something very wrong uh, with that whole picture so we are an hour and 26 minutes into this charge 21 kilowatts of energy and i am at a 99 percent and a uh, three minutes or so ago it tipped over to 99 percent and then at that point the time remaining goes it, it had been at 10 minutes time remaining uh there so i mean it's a lot faster than charging at one of the seven kilowatt uh chargers i mean you can't you know i mean so that's good but it's slower than it should be. Here's my my kind of list of figures, and I um yeah I'll chart them up. It's interesting to see how long it's going to wait here at ninety nine percent, um where it's doing the uh, battery con conditioning and balancing cell balancing um between the different cells within the battery. I, I th the last charge it had was to 100 percent so it had it had balanced properly uh, there so this shouldn't take too long um, but we'll see so as I was saying um, I will send this information on to uh, charge a car and APT into Aberdeen uh, city Council. Um, I'd just like to get to the bottom of why this is that much uh, slower. It could be a lot faster in uh, in what it's uh, what it's doing. Uh, it is quite amusing sitting in the car while it's charging. Every single person that walks by has a good old look and a kind of nudge. Uh, look at that! And uh, even parents saying to their kids, "Oh, look at that! You see what's going on there." Uh, all very amusing. So uh, we'll see. This has been at 99% uh, for about 10 minutes uh, now. Coming up for 10 minutes. Um, so hopefully not too much longer. Well, 1 hour 53 it actually turns out. 22.16 kilowatt hours. And it has finally tricked over to... 100 percent and uh yeah it makes for quite fascinating reading all of this um you you can see the the charge rate the kilowatts uh as they're adding up and as it gets down to the uh to the end it's just trickling in uh which is what you expect as it's um uh, the kind of analogy that folks often use is like filling a bucket of water and you can fill it up really fast to begin with, but as you get right near to the top, you have to slow down so you don't spill over uh, over the edge. Um, so, uh, one hour, 53 minutes. The time uh, remaining at the start was one hour, 45. So it was a little bit pessimistic on how long it would take. Uh, and you can see getting to about, it's around about 90% that it starts to really slow down. Um, so it's about an hour and 
an hour and five minutes or so uh, to 90% it was. And then after that, I mean, you're, you're nearly another hour uh, for that 10% after another 50 minutes. All right, I'll chart it up when I get back. Well, I am in this is my ongoing experiments with different charges and why I'm having a number of issues with the rapid charges um, produced by APT and um, the, the charge rate is much lower. So I have plugged in, as you can see here, I'm in the Frederick Street car park in Aberdeen and um, I have plugged into uh, one of these charges here, which looks just like the one I normally use, uh, only this one is um, a 22 kilowatt charger. And uh, as you can see here, um, I was down to about 20% uh, when I plugged in um, two minutes ago, and um, it was saying time remaining an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm going to... Um, just uh, kind of keep a chart of this, uh, how this is, <laughs> but I, I have a feeling this is ru running faster than the rapid charger. And this is this is not a rapid charger, this is just a fast charger. Uh, hey, so there's definitely something weird going on. Anyway, we'll see how we go um, over the next hour or something. Well, we've been charging for about 40 minutes and um, I think my suspicions are entirely accurate on this one. Uh, so 40 minutes and um, at bang on about 40 minutes, it went over to 80%. So we're at 82% now, time remaining 20 minutes. It will no doubt be a bit longer than that when it's doing the uh, cell balancing of the battery, the battery conditioning, uh, but I mean, this is a lot faster than the the rap, so-called rapid charger. And you can see the temperature is five degrees, so it, uh, it's about you know it's only a couple of degrees different. It's not that much different. Um, yes. So the moral of the story here seems to be: if you want the fastest charge, if you're using the Aberdeen City or the charge your car chargers, then go to the not fastest charger. Um, completely bizarre and I, I'm gonna get in touch with them and send them the information down and ask them what is going on uh, there aren't nearly as many of these 22 kilowatt chargers uh, around um, however that seems to be the one to go for if you're in a Renault Zoe using the AC chameleon charger the faster uh, its ability to use the three phase uh, electricity supply to its best uh, ability so there you go well uh, an hour and 35 minutes total and it's just um, clicked over to 100% um, so the but cell balancing conditioning phase was probably about the same length of time about 35 minutes or so um, I'm realizing these videos are becoming instead of living with the Renault Zoe. It's it, it well, this is it's all part of living with an EV is uh, living with the charging infrastructure and learning a bit about how uh, the charging infrastructure works. And uh, and this has been really quite 
fascinating for for that. Uh, so, um, I will go back and chart this up as well and put it next to the one for the 43 kilowatt charger and see what these two lines look like when they're uh, put on top of each other. Okay, thanks for watching again. Keep on charging. So I am editing uh, this video, nearly finished, and um, have been making up the, the charts and putting those in. And um, it's clear from the, the charts when you look at them that the charge rate on the 22 kilowatt charger is faster than the 43 kilowatt one. So um, the 20 kilowatt one is running about what you'd expect. So when it's at its maximum charge rate, um it was putting in about it was just a little bit under 21 kilowatts per hour um the the charge rate was working out at and then when you look at the 43 kilowatt one it was under 18 it was 17.8 or something like that uh kilowatts per hour which is, i mean that's not an considerable uh, difference if you're having to do a number of different charts say three or four different charges on one journey that adds up pretty fast of course when you're on a longer journey you're not running it all the way to 100 percent. you would run to maybe 85 90 percent on the battery uh, which is quick charging up to that point and then you'd move on uh, from there and uh, if the if the 43 kilowatt charges were running at their proper rate i mean that would be fantastic and the ecotricity ones that i've used do run at 43 kilowatts uh, properly so it they are much much faster at charging the car uh, it would make a real difference if these other ones of which there are many more in this area were also operating at that speed we'll find out if we get any uh, any answers as to why this should be the case anyway cheers thanks for watching bye